Hello everyone, this is not your chem tutor and in this video, we will continue with our second example on how to find the empirical formula from combustion analysis for compounds containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So this is already our second example, so make sure you have watched the first video. If not, then don't worry, I will link the video in the description box. Okay, so without further ado, let's proceed to the second example. So a 10-gram compound containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen was combusted, yielding 14.66 grams of carbon dioxide and 6.00 grams of water. What is the empirical formula of the compound? Also given in the problem are the molar masses for carbon dioxide, water, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So just a reminder again, if the molar masses are not given in the question, then don't worry, you can solve the molar masses using your periodic table. Okay, now let's proceed to the step-by-step -step solution. Step one is to solve for the moles of carbon from CO2. So in the problem, we are given 14.66 grams of carbon dioxide. So the molar mass of carbon dioxide is given in the problem. It's 44.01 grams per mole. So we will use dimensional analysis. One mole of carbon dioxide is equivalent to 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. So the grams of carbon dioxide cancels out. Now you have moles of carbon dioxide. But what we want is the moles of carbon. So just by looking at the chemical formula for carbon dioxide, CO2, that means one mole of carbon dioxide contains also one mole of carbon. So the moles of carbon dioxide cancels out and you're left now with moles of carbon. And if you solve this in your calculator, you will get approximately 0 0.333 moles of carbon. Now let's proceed to step 2. Step 2 says solve for the moles of hydrogen from water. So if we go back to the problem, we are given 6.3. 0, 0 grams of water. We are also given the molar mass of water, 18.016 grams per mole. So that means for every one mole of water, that's equivalent to 18.016 grams of water. So let me just write that, 18.016. Sorry about that. 18.016 grams of water. So the grams of water cancels out. Now you have moles of water. But in step two, what we want is the moles of hydrogen. And we know just by looking at the chemical formula of water, H2O, that means for every one mole of H2O, it has two moles of hydrogen. So the moles of H2O cancels out. Now you have moles of hydrogen. And if you solve this in your calculator, you will get approximately 0 0.666 moles of hydrogen. So that's for step two. I hope you're still following. Let's move on to step number three. So for step number three, solve the mass of carbon. So remember, from step number one, we got the moles of carbon. 
0.333 moles. So let me just write that, 0.333 moles of carbon. And in the problem, we are also given the molar mass of carbon, which is 12.01 grams per mole. So let's do the dimensional analysis. Let's use the molar mass. For every one mole of carbon, that's equivalent to 12.01 grams of carbon. So the moles of carbon cancels out. Now you have grams of carbon. And that's equivalent to approximately 4 grams of carbon if you solve it in your calculator. So that's for step number three. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's move on to step number four. Step number four is similar with step number three, but for step number four, we will look for the mass of hydrogen. So remember from step number two, we already got the moles of hydrogen, which is 0 0.666 moles of hydrogen. And from the problem, we are also given the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.008 grams per mole. So let's just write that. So from step 2, we got 0 0.666 moles of hydrogen. And from the given molar mass, 1 mole of hydrogen is equivalent to 1.008 grams of hydrogen. So the moles of hydrogen cancels out. Now you have the grams of hydrogen. So if you solve this in your calculator, you will get approximately 0 0.67 grams of hydrogen. Now for step number five, solve for the mass of oxygen. If you can still recall what we did in example number one, if you want to solve for the mass of oxygen, or O, that is just equal to the mass of the compound minus the mass of carbon minus the mass of hydrogen. So going back to the problem, the mass of the compound is 10 grams. So let's write that. So mass of oxygen is equal to, again, the mass of compound is 10 grams minus the mass of carbon, which we solved in step number 3, minus 4 grams, minus the mass of hydrogen, which we solved in step number 4, which is 0 0.67 grams. So the mass of oxygen, if you solve this in your calculator, you will get 5.33 grams. So that's the mass of oxygen. Now for step number six, we will solve for the moles of oxygen. So from step number 5, we already have the mass of oxygen, 5.33 grams. Now we need the molar mass of oxygen, which is also given in the problem. The molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole. So let's go back to step number 6. Sixteen grams of oxygen is equivalent to one mole of oxygen. So the grams of oxygen cancels out and you have now moles of oxygen. And if you solve that in your calculator, you will get approximately 0 0.333 moles of oxygen. Now let's move on to step number seven. 
it says here, put the moles as the subscripts of the elements. So we have three elements here, right? We have carbon, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen. And we also solve for their moles. So for carbon, from step number one, we got 0 0.333 moles. For hydrogen, in step number two, we got 0 0.666 moles. And from step number six, for oxygen, we have 0 0.333 moles. So in step number seven, we will put the moles as the subscripts of the element. So again, for carbon, we got 0 0.333. For hydrogen, we got 0 0.666. And for oxygen, we got 0 0.333. So that's for step number seven. And for our final step, in step number eight, you divide all the subscripts by the smallest one. So if you look at step number seven, which is the smallest subscript? The smallest subscript is 0 0.333. So what you do is you divide all the subscripts by the smallest number. So 0 0.333 divided by 0 0.333 for hydrogen, 0 0.666 divided by the smaller number. And for oxygen, 0 0.333 divided by the smaller number. And you will get C for carbon, that's going to be C1. For hydrogen, that's going to be H2. And for oxygen, that's going to be O1. So C1, H2O1. And we know in chemistry, whenever the subscript is 1, we omit the subscript or we remove the subscript. So you can simplify this as CH2O. And this is the empirical formula.